What is up guys and welcome back to another episode. It's early as shit, it's cold as shit, we're going fishing. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Rick from Cass Cray Outdoors. We're hitting the river, gonna head after some winter smallmouth bass. I know the water temps are under 40 degrees so the bite's probably gonna be really, really soft and hard to detect, but fish should be grouped up and we're just gonna get after it. This should be a good one, so hit the like button and stay tuned. Whoa, my GoPro just magically turned on by itself. How does that happen? That's nuts. I'm a little worried now. I mean, they're here, the fish don't go anywhere, so. There he, there he is. Yep, it's like a walleye. Smally, smally, smally. I got him, he's not that big. That's all right, that's a fish. It's a fish. I kind of hooked him. Look, dude, something bit the tail off first. I was getting popped a few times there, so it's super soft bite this time. Okay. That's actually like one of the smaller ones I've caught out of here. Take it though, skunk is out. Dusted it off. He was staying down. I thought he had okay, a... here's the net I'm ready. Oh. Here. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good sign. I got hit like three or four times before that. And what's really crazy though, is it was so soft that it just felt like a rock. Like it just, it's, it's gonna be wild, but they're here. All right. Thanks buddy. Skunk is gone. Look what they did to me though. Uh oh. Oh, bastards. Okay, that's a good sign. I literally, I got hit like three or four times before I actually got him. And I hooked him like underneath his chin. That's how like, how light this bite is. Let's have another one. I just had another one. Oh no guys, I wasn't recording. So these guys are biting so soft that I've hooked two of them now. Underneath their freaking, they're just like nosing it. And these guys are small. Where are the big daddies at? These are the small guys. Oh God, oh God. There's one. Oh, oh, we, we're on him. We're on him. Is he bigger? What we got going on here? Oh, he's a little better. Okay. 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 We got something going on now. There's some fish right here. You, do you have, can you mark this on your thing? All right, I man. Yours is a little bigger. You're buying beer. Oh, man. Sorry. These are small for here, but we're catching fish now, so. Okay, we're on them. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Dubbies, dude. Whoop, whoop. Dubbies, and there's snow on the ground still, Dinky. slightly. Pink. That's three. That's three. Well, not bad for December, though. Dubbies again. Nope. Oh, that's a little better there. That's a little better there. That's a little better. That's more like it. That's still kind of small. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> that's not a bad one. That's better. And he ate it. That's not bad. All right, guys. Well, there's a little chunk. Not huge, but I'll take it. He just missed another one, too. So we're on some fish here. Shit, like. There he is. Look at all the spots on him. Ugh. Not bad. Got those crazy spots again. Man, that was the lightest freaking bite. They want it so light. It's dark on the I top. know, isn't that crazy? It's that largemouth I just caught had his whole tail's like at. Man, where are the big boys at? We're eventually gonna run into a big one. He's pretty though. Yeah, he is. Look at the spot. That is so cool. Probably should just keep doing that same little drift then maybe. Are kind of close to where we caught those other ones, huh? It's so, like literally all we're doing is just vertically jigging like Kayatech style swim baits right now. We got half ounce jig heads because there's a lot of current. And that's pretty much how we've caught. Oh, dude, what was that? That was a fish, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked like your line was moving. But yeah, we've, I think we've caught everything vertical. Except for maybe the one I got out the back of the boat. But still, it was just chilling there. It's just such a slow little, like, bite. They're just barely nudging it. It'll kind of just, like, lift up, and then there'll be weight. So you just set the hook. They're actually fighting pretty decent for as cold as they are. Water's like 39 degrees. 38 degrees, ain't it? 38. 38.5. We're catching smallmouth with half-ounce jig heads. It's so crazy. Yeah, no, right? It's so wild. Well, what I like about this time of year is like a lot of people think that like you can't fish when it's this cold. That the fishing is super tough, which like I would consider this slow for here. But like what I love about fishing in the winter is it seems slow, but like they're very predictable. It's like we know every single fish is doing exactly what these fish have been doing. It's not like there's any like guessing, guesswork or anything. Like you know where, where they are, you know how they're behaving, and you just gotta get your bait in front of them. What I really like too is like a lot of times this time of year you'll find them so grouped up that like it's almost better than. I don't want to say it's like better than like spring, but it's definitely better than summer, I would say. Like summer, you can find them grouped up too, but they're just, they're more unpredictable. I'll try this old wacky guy here and see what we can get. Look at that thing. Oh, I've seen these, okay. Yeah. We'll give that a scent ski and see what happens. Might be the ticket here. There's a fish. Oh my God, Perchy. I caught me a perch. We were just talking about perch skis. Got him on the old thingamabob. He is covered in parasites. Covered in parasites. Yeah, look at that. It's an old perch ski. I didn't even know these were in here. All right, well, later, Mr. Perch. Hope you uh, recover from your, your COVID herpes. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that was nice. God damn it. My thingamabobber. Need an old plug knocker. I need a plug knocker for my thingamabobber. Is he fighting? Oh, man. 
And I, I think we'll have. Yeah. That's a fish. How odd is that? Oh, there we go. A little better. A little better. A little better. Hey. Hey, enough for you, okay? <laughs> hey. Take a break. This is still kind of small though, man. Where are big boys at? They gotta be in here somewhere. That's a pretty one though. That's the same thing as that stick, except it started swimming. <laughs> Dude, uh. I'm doing nothing different. <laughs> Got the touch, man. Dude, it's yeah, so dude. soft that like, but like the, the, they grab it for such a short period of time. It's it's yeah, like, it could be that too, huh? it's like the craziest bite. That's You got straight braid on? Yep. Like you don't feel the bite really. It's just like, there's just like a wait for like a second. What you got, buddy? You need a net? You got a big one, don't you? You big? What do you got here? It's a fish. We'll net him. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. Hey, hey, it's a fish on the old cast crate nub. Heck yeah. Look at that. The old Gobi gangsta. Dang. Maybe. I don't know yet. Maybe not. Eh. Not really. <laughs> Definitely didn't need to net him. What's up with all these little fishkies? Fighting hard though. They're here though. They're, they're right here. They are fighting hard for as cold as he is. Pretty. Look how cold he is. I can't believe he's fighting like that. Look how cold that guy is. Put on the old cast cray. Things are slowing down, so we gotta get serious. The old Gobi gangsta. That Rick just caught his last couple fish on. What the hell just happened? Is he nicer? What do you got going on there? He got small. It's hard to tell. Fight. Is he gonna get big? Do I need to grab the net? What's happening here? Is he? Yeah, I did, but yeah, he's big. Oh, oh, oh yeah! All right, Rick. He came on strong in the fourth quarter. That's not bad. That might be the biggest one. Yeah. Might be. And he's a little football, dude. He's shaped weird. Look at that guy. The old Nubski. Yeah, Nubskis. Look how he's, what, he's. Oh, he's got like a. He got something old, dude. He's he's full. Look at that, dude. Pig man. Hell yeah, dude. The old cast crane Nubskis. You want to give him a little shout out where they can get him? Cascray.com, baby. Right there. Gobi Gangsta is the color. Smallmouth love them. Obviously. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. That's not bad. It's not bad. Corn for that mayhem. Hey guys, I suck. This fish, I was I was snagged, and he literally grabbed it off of the rock for me. You guy's a bro. Why oh, my camera on? I only got two hours left. I might as well just keep it. He's a little chunky one. That was weird. That was strange on the old nubski. Old nub head with the nub. The old nubs. That's probably the bait I catch. Like the sec that's probably I, the second most bait of yours that I catch. The, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I catch fish the second most out of all your baits. Every fish. Quality fish. Hey, buddy. There he is. Crappies though, right now, this time of year. Another one? Yeah. All right. What do we got here? I don't know if he's going to eat it. They're all little. I'm just going to flip. Yeah. I'm going to flip. I mean, eh, he's actually a little better than I thought, but he ain't big. We're, we are in some fish right now. Definitely in some fish, dude. Look how deep he wanted the nub. Barely hooked though, too. It's just kind of like chilling in there. Hey guys, so we've caught like our last probably like eight fish probably on the nubs. Right. So I'm gonna put a link in the description where you guys can get some of those yourself. Uh, it's a Ned Rig style bait. He's actually got the uh, Ned heads too. So I'll put a link in the description. You guys can go get your own. We've been catching everything on uh, the Gobi Gangster. So that's the color right here, Gobi Gangster. And uh, yeah, pretty much the last seven or eight fish. By far the hottest color. Though. Oh yeah, that's, that's my favorite color too you got. Stopped getting them on the swim bait, started slowing down, and then Rick started hammering them on the nubs. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It'll be like cut right before like an ad.